this one can we have that so that students can whenever they want they can ask the questions can we have that or should we go with first presentation and then uh, ask questions which would be better uh, yes sir anyway uh, anyway that is possible sir the way you want yes okay so i will say because what happens you know when you ask questions uh, you will have interest on it it should not be one way lecture because if it is one way lecture then you will uh, feel uh, you may feel different okay so you have to ask questions at, at any point after every slide i will stop and uh, i love you to ask questions okay if the things are coming later on in the slides i will tell i will tell you later on or else i will uh, do it as i go okay so let i'll present my screen i am sorry because of my the problem in the uh, problem in the i'm sharing the screen now okay one second so i will say this was presented in some other place okay but because of uh, our uh, problem with the this one i am doing this okay so let us see what is git okay see git when you say uh, first of all we should know what is git if we know what is git only then the next things can be done okay so the gate actually is national level exam that tests the te technical knowledge of an engineer very important it tests your technical knowledge okay there is no other exam that does that okay all the other exam uh, either aptitude is there english is there scat for example is the 10th standard english and uh, this one gre also english they test but technical knowledge in the engineering field what you are doing okay that knowledge is gate is testing it okay basically it was designed as an entrance test for securing admission to post graduation courses in iits and ias initially it started in 1984 and uh, later on it was basically for uh, your uh, post graduation in iits and ias in recent time it has been used as a screening test for employment in public sector units very important why that because of this uh, interest in uh, public sector uh, units recruiting through uh this uh, gate what has happened it has renewed interest for the students and the number of people who are writing it also has increased the reason because you are getting employment then and there that is very important okay and um, public sector units like say mrpl nearby or upcl near madhwa institute you have upcl correct so getting there is a great uh, achievement and also the salary is good the opportunities are huge so people are thinking in that line okay Uh, but uh, in the surrounding uh, colleges people have not realized how much efforts they have to put to get there okay recently i heard one of the political uh, local political leader okay i'll not name him okay he was saying that we are not getting jobs in our own uh, uh, this one like you say mrpl or if you say upcl we are not, our own people are not getting job okay the reason is because our people are not putting the efforts okay so um, saying that uh, see uh, we are not getting job that is totally wrong because the basic level jobs they are giving if you say you want a clerk job they will give you a clerk job okay clerk job is easily got okay and they have all the uh, what do you say all the um, uh, reservations and all those things for that but if you want an engineer job engineer job these are sophisticated jobs for that you should have knowledge okay and it's a national level exam so you can get anywhere else not just in uh, mangalore you can go to any place in india and you can get a job in psus okay so that is the advantage of writing it main advantage okay it is also seen as a knowledge benchmarking criteria for young graduates by private sector companies as well as foreign universities what has happened some of the uh, uh, companies if you give their resume and in that you have a gate qualification okay it will help you to get a job okay it will they will take your uh, cv for consideration okay there is another advantage especially for campus selection okay people do not weigh that thing okay in the campus selection uh, whatever uh, uh, if you prepare for gate what happens you will be able to clear gate uh, you will be clear able to clear the written test okay one of the problems all the placement officers will i have met a lot of placement officer from various uh, institutes in south canada and one of the major complaint from all the placement officers is if we get a core company the students will not clear the written test this is true because i have seen even in nitte 
in uh, uh, your uh, uh, you take any college surrounding college any surrounding college you take the number of core companies that come is very low okay and the if they come also the students don't get placed because people don't get clear the written test because the people don't clear written test next time that company will not come okay so that is one of the thing you have to know and preparing for gate will help you for example you don't have to think about which branch people may think is a mechanical there is low uh, what do you say uh, low scope for cs there is high scope for electronics there is high scope okay actually what has happening is even for cs or ec department what is happening what are the companies that are coming those are services companies core companies are not coming okay to the local engineering colleges nowadays core companies if even if they come they are very less they are taking less number of students but our aim should be to get into core companies what are core companies for cs core companies are microsoft or ibm or uh, google or any small company which develops some product okay so if you want to if you want to develop a product rather than just being a service oriented person okay what you need to know you need to know the basics of engineering okay what is see if you if you are saying cs you should know what is design of algorithm properly you should know how the software design is done okay that is one side okay and if you have that uh, what you say knowledge only then you can design a software okay but service sector is easy you go to infosys infosys has a better jobs also i am not saying infosys as a whole i am saying the entry level jobs which is there in infosys tcs or all those things even uh, engineer is not actually required in a lot of places okay they are okay with the bsc graduates or bca graduate is okay for them okay or even sometimes a simple graduate is enough for them that is why the salary they give is very very low okay some of the companies give around 20 25000 salary and the students are very happy with it see as a matter of fact initially getting that salary is okay but in the future you should have a aim that tomorrow you should be in google or microsoft or such kind of organization you should be there okay now if you come to mechanical or civil or uh, uh, these core branches electrical i am telling three branches are core branches mechanical civil electrical because civil is the mother of all branches okay because all the engineering uh, uh, have come from civil engineering first it was only civil engineering and military engineering okay from civil engineering came mechanical engineering and electrical engineering previously if you ask 50 55 years back there was only civil engineering as engineering okay and they used to have electives as electrical as elective or a mechanical as elective they used to have like that okay so afterwards in 1990s or 1980s and all from onwards from electrical came electronics and then came our uh, computer science okay so if you take the core branches it is only civil engineering after civil engineering if you say next level it is uh, uh, mechanical civil and electrical okay so like that you have now if i consider core branches today government considers only civil engineers as the best engineering let me tell you there is no campus selection i am not saying civil engineering has campus selection no the style of recruitment is different for civil engineering okay civil engineers recruitment is in the government sector if you consider ies indian engineering services in that more than almost 40 35 to 40% of the jobs is for civil engineering next 20 25% of the job is for mechanical engineers next 10 to 15% and then 10 to 15% is for electrical and telecommunication or electronics okay there is no cs okay i am not saying big and low see cs has opportunities in campus selection i am not denying that okay and civil engineering or the core branches have opportunities in uh, our uh, um, government sector as well as some of the good companies for example lnd is there gamon india is there or for mechanical mahindra is there tata motors is there uh, then adani is coming reliance is coming okay and civil engineers has scope in even in these uh, institutions because civil engineers starting is difficult but uh, uh, later on the earning is very huge okay if a person is sticking to civil engineering field the earning becomes huge in around 10 to 15 years it it will go Uh, very high okay and if you go with structural consultancy and all those things if you do your mtech in uh, uh, structural engineering and start giving consultation okay then the scope is really really huge okay your business 
uh, thing is important. Okay, and also if you ask, uh, even if you are a professor in an engineering college, okay, you may as you may go as an external expert for uh, seeing the quality of some of the projects which is done. Okay, and nowadays what is happening is. the government is investing in infrastructure okay so when government is investing in infrastructure okay because of covid it is reduced now but it is surely going to improve india is a developing country okay you cannot go without infrastructure so when it is going civil engineers is an evergreen branch mechanical is a evergreen branch but the trouble what happens to us is we are not an engineer first of all okay we don't we don't have technical knowledge first of all only the people who have technical knowledge are respected okay if you are going to this field and the earning is around to say if you go for uh, your uh, upsc and all those things earning is almost a lakh per month that is the type of earning you will get 20 to 23 year old okay so that is the huge benefit you have you should know which type of branch you are going and what is the way of selection there what is the way ahead for that okay and what is the efforts you have to put and one more side even if you are a civil engineer whether you are a mechanical engineer or whether you are electrical engineer coding is a necessity don't think that sir i am a mechanical engineer i am a civil engineer i will not learn c c++ wrong c c++ coding algorithms is necessary for all the branches don't think that i should not do coding because i am a mechanical engineer i should not do coding because i am an electrical engineer don't do that coding is very necessary okay saying that now i have told you in general what is the importance of gate why gate is important main reason is gate is used as to increase the technical level because when you are preparing for gate your technical level increases okay done next first why gate one of the main advantages post graduation in iic iits nits and other institution now why to go these to, to these institution and do post graduation and also i have put it as a first level i have put it to the first level why didn't i put psu as the first level because this is better than getting a seat in P, uh, getting a job in psu why will i say that because after your engineering if you do your mtech and then get into psus there is larger scope or the career advancement is huge in that psu because if you are a post graduate your uh, increment will be higher as well as your uh, what do you say um, improvement in your career or uh, you can say promotion is easier so getting a post graduation from iisc iits and nits is very easy okay what is the advantage of this because a lot of people who come from iisc iits and nits are good in technical knowledge okay so they have something called pre assigned credentials they are thought they are good okay unless and until you prove otherwise that you are not good okay generally whenever a person says i am from iit or iisc it is taken for granted that they have good knowledge okay first thing. second thing world class standards in teaching and research if you go to iits the teaching is best in the world okay why because most of the professors who come there are are Uh, do have done their phd in one of the best foreign universities of the world in uh, i am from iit madras i know professors who are who have uh, who have done their uh, phd in massachusetts who have done in cornell who have done in stanford okay the best universities getting a uh, what do you say assistant professor post in iits is not that easy okay and they are so good that's why they get there first thing. second thing student exchange program with reputed foreign universities one of the problems we have here is we think we have to go to, uh, do do gre and go out of india only then the scope is huge that is true okay some of the best universities in the world uh, in the world you have to go, if you go there it is always better i am not denying that fact but here when you get into iits the uh, you will get it free of cost because when you get a mtech seat in iits or iisc you will get a stipend of how much 12400 rupees per month as a stipend and your fees is so low that using the stipend you can actually earn money you can save money okay so it is like going there doing your mtech 
getting savings plus getting a good job so that these are the advantage of getting into these iits iisc and mits okay and it has student exchange program i will tell you some of the examples there is something called fulbright scholarship from uh, united states there is another uh, scholarship called dad scholarship there is a german scholarship what happens i will tell you about dad because i know it better because in iit madras uh, people who are doing first year in mtech first year they do in uh, I iit second year project one year they will be spending in germany okay in one of the best universities okay and what they will do is they will do research under a foreign guy so you will get international exposure also in addition uh, with international exposure at a very low at a zero cost all the things is taken by government of india that is the advantage okay you you don't have to uh, what do you say earn by yourself because if you go to us universities you should earn it otherwise you have to go do part time jobs okay either petrol pump uh, in the petrol pump you put a uh, petrol or uh, uh, like that they call it gas station so the gas station you are a, uh, attender in a gas station or in a uh, walmart you are doing some job so like that if you don't do that part time job you cannot take take your expenses okay but here everything is taken care by government of india and the thing very good alumni network very important okay alumni network helps either to tell you what is good career how to go forward okay which way to go forward so that very good alumni network helps you again because of alumni network you can get grants for some of your projects okay or uh there is uh, there is uh, corpus funds from that one you can get uh, you will get you ha you will get if you are going for a foreign you know, foreign country for presenting a conference paper you will get grant from the uh, alumni network also i think for ms and mtech okay uh, you will get around 1 uh, and 1/2 lakh okay for one conference you will get so much of money okay so those are the advantages another advantage support for startups startups is very important let me tell you okay in india because of startups only people grow okay i had i have one of my colleagues called uh, someshwar rao okay he is a civil engineer okay uh, he told me one story okay he said there was one uh, uh, student from iis indian institute of sciences he was doing his ms master of science now when i say post graduation there is mtech ms or if i say i can say direct phd also okay so when i take a master of science there he was he took master of science in iisc then he worked on something called industrial purifier an industrial air purifier he worked on that particular person okay and then he patented that air purifier and sold that patent at the age of 27 years he was just 27 years he sold that patent a part of that patent for a whopping price of 13 crore rupees that means at a 27 years of age he has become a crorepati and what is he he is from a basic uh, middle class family when you go to iisc iits or mits what happens whatever experiments you are doing that is funded by government of india okay so you have some idea so you have to develop some product whether software product or hardware product or some say some people have ideas about say uh, energy some new materials okay now what to do to implement that you don't have money okay and you can't spend your father's money already you spent so much okay so there is another godfather god government of india so if you go get into iisc iits or nits one of the advantages government will pour in crores of rupees for you provided your idea is good okay actually a lot of outlay is uh, wasted actually it is not utilized okay whatever they keep for money they are uh, what you say Uh, the budget is there it is not utilized action okay and to get into iit yeah any doubts here yeah let me stop here one minute and uh, let me ask you whether there is some doubt i would is there any doubt students or can i move forward no doubt ah mic on maadi kele answer question illa alwa idya doubt sir
Any doubt, student? Any doubt? No. No, sir. No doubt. No doubt. Fine. We will move forward. Okay. And to get into IIT, IITs, you can get uh, up till ten thousand rank. You can get it. Okay. Now there are two things which is there here. Okay. One is one second. Okay. One is M Tech. People think that IITs you can get M Tech till around say two uh, thousand rank. Oh, in mechanical engineering, uh, in mechanical engineering, they write uh, gate uh, around uh, say uh, one and a half lakh people write gate. In that, around two thousand people get get into IITs. Okay, NITs uh, till around three uh, thousand rank they can get it. In CS and IS, if you take, you have to get M Tech. You will get M Tech only if you are less than thousand five hundred rank all India. Okay, in IITs or NITs. Okay. NITs it may you know, go till around the 2000. Okay. Uh, now what happens here is okay. There is another thing which our peer students do not know. There is something called MS by research. There is M Tech. Then there is another thing called MS Master of Science. In Master of Science, the disadvantage is that uh, you will spend more number of years. You will spend three years. Instead of two years, you will spend three years in uh, IIT. Okay, and it is a research ba research based uh, uh, research based program. Okay, and you will write less number of uh, subjects, but the placement is similar to M Tech. For M Tech in IIT Madras, I will tell you because I know that, and you can similar thing will be there in all the IITs and IIS. In Madras, if you take The average salary for uh, M Tech and MS both is around 11 lakh per annum. Average salary. The maximum last time was around 39 lakh per annum. Okay, and uh, the minimum was around 6 lakh per annum. Okay, so that is the range of salary you will get, and almost everybody gets selected there. Okay, uh, unless and until you you opt do not opt to get it, or you get uh, try to go to PhD and all those things. Then it will not. It is not there. Otherwise, almost everybody will get it. Okay, no doubt. Still, now is it not? Fine. Stop me and ask questions. Okay. Fine. Next. Next is public sector units. Okay. A good gate rank. See here. I will tell you again. The maximum scope in public sector unit is for mechanical engineering. Okay. Maximum uh, seats or vacancies come for mechanical engineering. Okay. Uh, and uh, second is for civil engineers third is for electronics engineers there is one uh, company called power grid corporation of india okay which is very huge and pays very nice salary okay in that mechanical is not allowed okay uh, so various uh, institutes are there okay cs is the lowest here okay uh, now uh, what happens here is uh, yeah civil is the second okay here you get a initial salary of around 10 lakh per annum Okay, ten LPA you get. Okay, and uh, advantage is that job is secure, government sector. Okay, so and also you have a lot of opportunities, and but you need very very high ranks because the maximum competition is for this. Okay, if you consider IAS, I will go back again. I will tell you this one. If you want to get M Tech in Indian Institute of Sciences, if you want to get M Tech in Indian Institute of Sciences, you need at least uh, inside hundred rank. All over India, okay. If you get inside hundred rank only, then you can get into IAS. Okay. So first aim is for Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore. That is the first thing. Okay. Second is uh, how they prefer is either IITs or they go for PSUs. So if your rank is less than five hundred for uh, or uh, better than five hundred for mechanical. And for general merit, there is a chance. Okay. Whereas if you consider, uh, say, um, uh, CS or IS, it becomes lesser. Okay. And uh, civil also almost the same. Okay. That is the uh, scope. What is there for gate to get into PSUs? Okay. And uh, one advantage is that you get very high initial salary. Okay. Uh, NTPC pays you around twenty lakh per annum cost to company. Okay. but the disadvantage of public sector unit is that your increment is less it's around 3% or 2% increment per year 
okay so if you're thinking of long term career okay if you are a person who is a uh, lot motivated to do something new okay has a high ambitious person okay then uh, this is not the thing you can start with that but later on you should go to private sector because private sector pays you the highest okay if you go to reliance or if you go to tata motors or if you go to mahindra these pays you huge it depends on the capability okay i have known people in mahindra or uh, uh, I, I know people in uh, mahindra tata motors who get around 30 35 lakh per annum okay and that too in a career of around uh, say six uh, years ashok lai lai happy person who is uh, uh, what do you say uh, r and d manager in ashok lai lai okay these people get very nice salary and also they get intense incentives for whatever they find okay what happens in private sector is if you are very good and if you innovate something okay they will give you a portion of that okay if you make them profit okay then a portion of that profit they will uh, they will uh, give it to you they don't want to lose good employees okay so they will give you a share okay so that is the advantage of private sector the advantage of private sector is whatever you work you can grow there okay so through gate also i will say private sector is useful why i will tell you in private sector why you should prepare for gate for private sector i will tell you in the next slides okay no doubt still now public sector in mrpl we have or you have your uh, upcl okay or we have uh, our mcf mangalore uh, not mcf i am seeing uh, uh, ntpc Uh, not ntpc what is that uh, port trust new mangalore port trust nmpt okay here if you want to get or kocl kudremo kayan or company limited okay here if you have to get you have to clear gate also drdo defense research and development organization if you want to get there you have to write gate but isro isro no no need of gate but the question is of the same difficulty as gate okay so the exam is separate but it is of the same difficulty or much more difficult than gate okay so gate preparation isro or bar there is baba atomic research center okay which also recruits in a year they recruit around 100 engineers okay isro also recruits around 100 engineers okay so if you want to get there gate is the way okay because gate preparation helps you to prepare for that also okay this is the advantage okay next one this is one thing people do not know sir till now whatever you have talked is about getting high ranks sir if i just clear gate then what is the use okay sir nange just clear aitu astu on tale illa sir nange a 2000 rank heltira 10000 rank heltira i don't know I, i don't know whether i can come uh, change in, change to kannada okay anyhow uh, whether it is 10000 rank whether to uh, whether it is uh, 5000 rank sir i am not capable enough to get that rank okay so what should i do sir if i clear gate should i write gate what happens if i just clear no use right no there is a large use of getting into uh, just clearing gate there is something called jrx junior research fellows and this is given by csir laboratories okay so csir laboratories are like if you say national aerospace laboratories or aeronautical development agency in bangalore even tifr tifr is not a csir lab okay but tata institute of fundamental research okay they also give jrfs okay and jrf they pay you around 31000 rupees per month without hra that means if hra is there you your money is increased like if you stay in metropolis like bombay or uh, uh, chennai if you stay then you will get around 30% of hra so 30% of 31000 you can add to that salary okay and this jrf is not just given by these uh, uh csir lab it is also given by iits so that is another advantage okay so when it is given by iits what happens because you are recruited as a uh, just by clearing and if the professor is happy with you in your interview they take interview for you if you clear that interview they will take you and if you are good in your job then they will take you for ms by research which is a pg seat there okay so that is the advantage of jrf it is easy it's a what is a easier way of getting into iits okay just clearing gate okay just clearing gate which is actually very easy okay so you can get a iit or iisc pgc first advantage another advantage if you don't get this then what lot of private educational institution or 
private research institutions there are number of private research institutes all over india there are number of private engineering colleges all over india now in an engineering college in a private engineering college if any of the faculty gets a grant from isro or there are various faculties who will get grant okay so when they are doing that project they have to take some grfs for example your own professor in your own institution okay if he gets a grant from government of india these uh, the, there is something called department of science and technology dst or there is a ugc there is csir okay these people give grant isro drdo okay or ministry of human resource development or ministry of non renewable energy sources these all are the nodal institutions which give grants to the professors to do research in their own colleges okay and there they need help from the uh, from uh, from they need some help in doing their research and who do they take they take grants and these grants are paid by the government of india through that grant money okay this thing is there even in manipal manipal if you see udayavani uh, or you see times of india manipal will actually give you a number of uh, uh, advertisement that they are grf which are uh, vacant okay even nit surat kal gives grf notifications okay that is one advantage another advantage is project assistant okay even if you get a clear in gate you can go as a project assistant even in uh, our nit surat kal or manipal or even in nitte i know people in nitte also they have got grf positions okay so that is the advantage if you get a jr if you get jr then government will pay you 31000 rupees per month how great it is to be in your own city and get 31000 rupees and afterwards what afterwards you get job in the related company for example if you are working on wind turbines then what happens you get knowledge on the wind turbines okay and then you can go for a company where uh, it produces wind turbines or maybe uh for example you are working on uh, some type of apps okay uh, so what happens because of that you are working on that app you get uh, subject knowledge how to develop an app okay based on that you can get into some of the uh, some of the private companies that is the advantage of grfs or some other example i will tell you see i tell you in civil engineering because this is the uh, this is the seminar organized by civil engineering department so i will tell you in a civil engineering example see room cooling we are using a lot of energy for uh, ref, uh, ac air conditioning okay so one of the uh, building one uh, building uh, thing is cool buildings okay where it is cool by itself okay in the sense the design of the building is such that the air flow is such that the building is cool by itself or maybe they will use walls where there are aluminum or copper tubes in which there are some fluid okay might be brine solution or maybe uh, water uh, water with some uh, nanoparticles in that so the cooling uh, there are a lot of research which is going on today okay so if you uh, do research on that tomorrow you can start your own consultancy or you can start your own building which are cool in itself and it's a cool idea to have a cool building okay that is one advantage another advantage is see for example if you get into uh, say um, geotechnical related things okay for example you are working on earthquake uh, related things vibration things or whether you are uh, working on how the soil uh, quality is okay there also lot of research happens okay and even if you become a professor later on in one of the institutions you will be asked as a you will be uh, what you say uh called as a consultant to say this project is happening so uh how is the soil quality can this building stay here okay can the soil below take the load of the building okay so if they want some auditors for that okay all the private uh institutions want some uh, auditors who are actually without any uh, affiliation that is uh who do, don't have any affiliation why they have to show to the government officials that a particular person who is a knowledgeable person has given a certificate that it can be done okay so in getting the grants and all those things that will be used okay so you will get money using that okay so the scope is very huge whichever uh, field you go or if you go for environmental 
see some new buildings are coming or uh, new projects come all over uh, india new new projects comes okay so there there is a need for getting environmental clearance okay so who gives the environmental clearance it is a civil engineer who gives the environmental clearance okay yes you have to write some exams for that you have to get uh, you you are you have to uh, pass those exam to get uh, to be a certification authority okay but that you have you get only by experience okay and how to get that experience clear gate because if your subject knowledge is not good you are not good anywhere in your uh, this one. and to uh, if you are writing gate from the second year you have to prepare prepare for gate let me tell you it's not the third year the final year okay if it's the third year or the final year then also it's fine but keep in mind it will take 2 to 3 years to prepare for gate okay it is not that 6 months some people say 2 months it's enough sir if i use 2 months for gate it's enough no it's not okay especially uh, with the the way the system of vtu has become now okay not just vtu any private engineer or private uh, universities now has become so that only around 5 to 6% of the students are interested in uh, to uh, understanding the subjects okay maximum number of students are there who wants a degree certificate okay and later on just because they have concentrated only on getting marks and getting degree certificates they are not they will get degree certificates and marks but they don't get the jobs okay then they keep their hand on their head and sir we are not getting job engineering is useless today that is what is happening today people are thinking engineering is useless no way now the moment you think engineering is useless some other institution or some other region is coming forward for example i was uh, giving a talk in one of the uh, colleges in uh, uh, tamil nadu okay their engineering now is bringing up is coming up now okay lot of uh, lower level institutions have closed down that's a different case the way it is going now in karnataka that has happened there around 4 uh, or 5 years okay number of engineering colleges have closed down and now it is booming up okay so people are realizing it okay and today when india is growing okay after covid it has to grow okay there is no other way other than growing it is not depend on modi or uh, rahul gandhi or uh, even if prakash karat okay the communist fellow okay even if he gets into uh, becomes a uh, prime minister of india okay or brinda karat for example okay even if she becomes the prime minister of india the india's growth will not be impeded keep that in mind okay? irrespective of the changes in political system india growth has to happen because people of india are good today okay so when the growth is happening you should not miss it out and growth happens always in engineering field keep that in mind when growth happens the maximum use is for engineering field see now the amount of car uh, what do you say sales have come up in the october if you see compared to last october and this october there is around 10% increase in the sale so when car sales are happening that means the economy is coming up tomorrow there might be hyperloop which is coming okay uh, our uh, amazon um, um, head as well as our uh, who is the other head uh, our um, amazon as well as um, uh, tesla head who is that uh, elon musk okay these people are putting a lot of money on hyperloop and the first uh, test of hyperloop technology will be there between pune and uh, bombay now when hyperloop is designed there is a requirement of number of all the types of engineers you require civil engineer to test the soil to test the structural stability of that tube which is there then you need mechanical engineer to see that there, there is a vacuum which is properly installed and also inside the bot which is there is there proper ventilation which is there inside the bot but outside it should be vacuum then there should be electrical engineers to see the uh, electrical connection properly okay then there should be civil engineer uh, computer science engineers who will see whether the software is working properly because at right time it has to go okay with the right speed okay and if there is an everywhere there is software let me tell you don't think that softwares are just for uh, think everywhere softwares are used okay so there also computer science engineers is useful so every engineer the whole engineering is useful in any uh type of uh, such kind of new technology which comes okay or tomorrow isro is coming up with mangalyaan tomorrow they will uh, start uh, seeing uh, uh, venus okay they'll explore so there is a huge scope which comes to you okay and if you don't go for engineering gone okay because engineers only can do it science people cannot do it science people can only do basic research 
Okay, engineering is a different type of skill set that you will get. Okay, that skill set will be utilized. Any doubt till here? No, no doubt. See, I'm not saying just about gate. I'm telling about engineering knowledge. And if how good your engineering knowledge depends on how good your gate score is. Better the gate score, better your knowledge is. Okay. Next, another one is help in preparing IES, IES or UPSC exam. Okay. This is the thing I have taken from one of the uh, websites. Okay. They have given what is the uh, what is the vacancies for engineering service, civil en uh, sorry. Indian Engineering Service, what are the vacancies in different years they have given, okay? 2019 is 581, but cutoff is not there. 2020, it has reduced a lot, let me tell you. So what is this IES? IES is similar to IAS, Indian Administrative Service. This is Indian Engineering Service, okay? It is useful because you are the signing authority, okay? You are the person who will, uh, what do you say, give clearance to a lot of uh, in the sense of uh, number of uh, projects which is there, which type of project has to be there, where which type of roads has to come, where which type of uh, what do you say nuclear power plants has to come or thermal power plant has to come and who has to be given the uh, tender for it. Who is the deciding authority? Just like IAS, it is IAS. Okay. So the advantage here is you are building India. Okay, building the nation. IES people, just like IES, IES are building the nation. Okay, what is the advantage other than this one, sir? Nange ni What is there for me? Okay, what is the monetary benefit I have? The monetary benefit is you will have at least uh, say one to one point, uh, like nearly one lakh seventy to one lakh rupees per month over the table. Okay, and then at the other uh, advantage you will get is like. Uh, uh, there is, uh, you are a Babu, okay? So, because you are a Babu, you will get, you are a government Babu. I'm saying a Hindi word, okay? Uh, Sarkari Babu, okay? Because you are a Sarkari Babu, you will have Nokar Chakar, Gadi Bangla Makan, okay? Bangla Makan, such kind of things. All the accessories are used, okay? You will get uh, uh, free medical service, okay? You are free education for your children, okay? So, the use is not just that what you get on your hand, 70,000 or 75,000, that's what you get in your hand, okay? But much better than that. Might be cost to the company if you take it is more than 2 lakh per month. That is the amount of uh, benefit you get through IES, okay? But it is not so easy, okay? To get into IES, always the people who write IES, first they write gate. Because if they cannot clear gate, they cannot clear IES, okay? First step to clear IES is to clear gate. Okay, once you clear gate, what happens is gate is valid for three years. So if you write gate this time, say 2021, okay, you can apply for admissions in 2021. Anyhow, you can apply. 2022, you can apply. 2023, you can apply. Okay, for post graduation, this one. So what they do first, they clear gate and they get high rank. Okay, once they get high rank. Fine, I am sure that I can get a MTech seat in IITs. Okay, so once I am okay with getting an MTech seat in IIT, then I will wait for one or two years. Why I will wait? Because if I clear IES, okay, it will be very huge uh, success for you because there is nothing employee, uh, nothing which is equivalent to that because it's a service what you are doing for the nation. Okay, and always the uh, the greatness or the pride which is there along with this is huge. Okay. You are a gadgeted officer again. Okay. Next, another side is employment in private companies. Now here, maximum amount of uh, what do you say jobs are in private sector. Nobody can deny that the maximum amount of job is there in private sector, not in the government sector. Okay. But we have to get plum private sector jobs. We should not think about just getting a job because I know some of the students. Who were, uh, so, uh, who were recruited in some of the companies, reputed ones, okay, uh, before around 10 years. At that time, the pay package was around 25 to 30,000 per month. Now it is around 30, uh, sorry, 25 to 30, now it's around 35 to 40. It has not increased much. Even after 10 years of experience, okay, might be 50,000 per month. That's it, not more than that. 
Now, why does that happen? Okay, some of the um, some of the students say seniors, if you say starting a little bit, they are self. That's saying that starting the salary is less, but later on the increment is there. Okay, in mechanical engineering, you know, or civil engineering, you don't get job at once. Okay, you have to uh, work continuously, and you have to show you are good, and then the uh, increment is there. True. Okay, but. the subject knowledge a person who has subject knowledge okay he will go from that 25 30000 not just to 50000 he may go to 5 lakh rupees per month because private sector gives you benefits in numerous numbers okay how much you benefit the company that much they will help you okay you may become you have you might have seen our uh, some of the uh, ceos only for example you see our uh, uh google ceo okay uh, who is the google ceo sundar pichai okay sundar pichai has today become see what is his salary today now he is not the person who has started the company correct today he is one of the uh, he is a ceo also and you see his salary okay he is saying this much money is enough for me okay so that is how private companies will give you benefits any company tomorrow you get into say mahindra okay i have written mahindra aerospace there. today mahindra is not there in aerospace field okay tomorrow uh, is there in aerospace field but is not very huge tomorrow mahindra starts uh, because of the engineers who are there okay it will start uh, manufacturing fighter planes you say okay and tomorrow you, since because you are good in that you may become a ceo of that particular uh, uh, fire fighter plane manufacturing company say uh, mahindra uh, something okay some uh, this one okay Uh, some uh, uh, new type of like rafael is there or your uh, possible right tomorrow we can become uh, we can manufacture some uh, uh, aircraft why not okay or tata manufactures are uh, this one so they the scope becomes really really huge okay and always you should not see on the past you should see on the future and future there is a lot of scope and if you want to be good in those see for example new come uh, think came nano came tata brought up nano okay now nano was a really an engineering challenge okay the people who were designing that nano car okay they have they are really really great engineers okay now think of becoming a part of such kind of groups in the future that comes because of your subject knowledge okay and today you say sir uh, why this uh, um uh, to say math- mathematics is there okay uh, why this uh, differential equation everywhere you will see that these differential equations or mathematics are basics very very basics okay any private companies will use it and one more thing uh, i see from students is that the seniors who pass out tells tell their juniors that whatever is studied in uh, engineering is a waste okay don't hear to them okay why because seniors who go will go to the first level only they don't know the best level okay best level people are the ones who have the subject knowledge okay who don't know say fluid mechanics or geotechnical or such strength of materials or uh, who doesn't know buckling of beams or the person who doesn't know uh, say design of algorithm who doesn't know networks who doesn't know control systems will not grow in any company i know companies are using advanced or technology i am not denying that they don't have advanced technology and what we are teaching is a very basics what we are teaching in engineering college is very very basics i don't deny that okay i am not saying we are teaching whatever is there in uh, private companies no we don't do that but we teach in engineering colleges what is required for you to understand what are they, what they are doing okay so if you understand fluid mechanics you can understand uh, piping design if you understand uh, what you say uh, the basic strength of materials you can design any uh, buildings or any um, uh, any of the uh, best of the bridges okay so that is very important okay and this helps in clearing interview let me tell you two or three uh, this one, okay uh, i will tell you from my coaching institute only because uh that is the experience i have okay or before that only from kendra engineering college only i will tell you some of the examples okay one student was there in kendra engineering college uh 
His name is Shravan Shane. Okay, uh, he was interested in technical from the initial part only. Okay, and uh, he was in Baha and everything. Okay, you know this uh, design of that uh, um, race car. Okay, so he was there in that. I constantly told him to learn the basics properly. Okay, and he was coming to me continuously. And in uh, second year, he presented one uh, uh, technical uh, competition. He he was involved in a technical competition in IIT Kanpur. Okay, and let me tell you, he designed a um, uh, new type of, uh, in the sense, uh, the wind turbine. Okay, he designed a new type of wind turbine. and how much money he spend is around 600 to 700 rupees he spend for that winter bike how much 600 to 700 rupees how he just got a uh, in the sense uh, um, cardboard uh, this one with the cardboard he designed it and he took it and he got a consolation prize there okay when all the other people are from iits okay so one of the things you have to take from your mind that to do new things you need to put money you no know, you have to put your idea the most difficult part is implementation if you can implement those ideas you have okay that is enough so that subject knowledge is important okay and because people have cleared gate next from my institute he also cleared gate okay and next he got selected to mahindra okay and next he went for a uh, in tap me he did his uh, he was selected through baha to mahindra only okay directly okay because of his uh, skills and he got initial salary of around 7 lakh per month okay then he uh, not 7 lakh per month i'm sorry 7 lakh per annum 7 lakh per month nobody gives for a uh, fresher okay 7 lakhs per annum he got as a initial salary and later on he improved okay he did his mba and all those that's a different case okay but initially he got into second side okay another girl was there she was from arvas institute okay her name is revati okay she came to me this was she was a pass out in 2018 pass out okay she came to me in 2017 and took my training for around 6 months and she got into a private company called forasia it is a company which is manufacturing uh, valves is a french company okay and she was the only one to be selected from around 3 uh, colleges surrounding in mudbidre and she was in the pre final year okay not even in the final year okay so one of the advantage of going for through gate coaching is that your basics is clear and the two examples i will tell you there was one professor called pal pai okay he was also coming he was a professor in uh, kendra engineering college he was coming to me for coaching and because his knowledge was increased during the this one he got into uh, micro bosch okay with a salary of around 8 lakh per annum then there is one more person joel who has just cleared now okay he got into adani uh, power okay his salary is now 4.5 lakh per annum he is from sayhadri so now what happens because of this why i am telling you all these things because of gate preparation because of gate preparation they could clear the written test of the private companies also they could clear the interviews now in your in your uh, in your college also because i was part of your college i am nobody other than your college i am i was a professor in your college for one year as a adjunct faculty so just like my students i am telling you your placement officer is so good that she can get any company into your campus but once you get there it is your job that you have to clear the written test how will you clear the written test first is service sector service sector whatever the training is required is given by your college okay but second side how to get into these uh, core companies because core companies only gives you uh, proper jobs okay so how to get into core companies to get into core companies very easy start gate preparation from the second year i will tell you you will easily clear gate okay uh, you will clear gate as well as you will get a uh, if you don't want to do the, what you say do your uh, uh, further studies don't worry you will get a job when you are in the final year that is because why it is because why what is the reason because your basics are clear okay and your mathematics your uh, whatever the fear you have of mathematics is gone that is advantage okay next now any doubts till now i have 10 minutes more okay any doubts here what is no doubts i'm so good 
students ask doubts no fine i will uh, complete it within 5 minutes i'll complete okay now how so i have seen first is what is it okay now uh, how we will see okay what we have seen why we have seen now how okay see what is gate exam pattern gate exam pattern 100 marks okay 15 marks aptitude 85 marks engineering and 10 to 15 marks is maths okay has mcqs msqs and nat what is mcqs multiple choice questions okay what is msqs multiple selection questions and what is nat nat stands for numerical answer type okay so mcq means you have four options and you have to tick the right option in that multiple selection question means you will have four options but more than one is right so you have to tick all the right answers if you tick one wrong answer you will not get marks if you miss one right answer you will not get marks marks but there is no negative marks for this for mcq there is negative marks for msq there is no negative mark then there is numerical answer type you have to add a number there okay and for that also there is no negative marks negative marks are only there for mcqs and qualifying marks varies from 25 to 48 marks out of 100 okay depending on different branches it varies okay but let me tell you only 15% clear gate okay not just that okay that me tough or easy okay uh, see here what happens is only 15% clear gate okay not more than that okay next how to crack gate okay first thing this is the very very important steps you have to remember okay how to crack gate first thing learn concepts from a good teacher this is the basic thing okay if you don't have a good teacher engineering concepts are not that easy you cannot get it by reading books let me tell you okay your professors who is good in the subject go and ask the concept have attention in the class okay because that will that will make your career okay so learn concept from a good teacher concepts important okay second step learn from a standard textbook okay not some other textbook not vtu textbook if vtu textbook is okay but you have to understand the concept okay you have to understand why okay first teacher second books three make your own notes very important okay make your own notes fourth make your own formula sheet after the notes is not enough you have to make your own formula sheets and one of the things that you have to revise not like gobbling and vomiting in our vtu exams what we do we gobble and vomit okay and it stinks really vomit stinks correct what happens is previous to the exams we gobble up the information next day on the exam paper we vomit it and later on it is not there with us why it is needed suppose somebody, somebody asks us uh, sir uh, differential equations okay do you know something about differential equation what is uh, basis of a uh, uh, differential equation if i ask a person with the third year or fourth year will not know what is basis of a differential equation okay what is a basis solution they will not know what is the solution of a differential equation if i ask no nobody will know that and some some simple questions okay what is a differential equation no a lot of students will not be able to answer this okay why sir it was there in the first year or the second year okay now we are in the third year sir exam i to exam is done now not needed okay that kind of attitude will not help okay you have to from the first year whatever you have studied you have to make your notes you have to write the jot down the formulas and see that formula every time because it help you in your career it is not now that it will help you it will help you in a career the subjects which are there everything will be used okay and that practice all previous years questions very important you have to practice all previous years questions okay now the step is like this only not that first you go for the uh, previous years question first you learn the concept then standard text then notes then make your own formula sheets then practice previous years question then give mock tests okay now here some of the coaching institutes you may ask sir gate clear madbeka coaching institute beka should we take coaching okay i will tell you if you have a good teacher who search teaches concepts in your engineering college or, or there is a there is a uh, what you say environment where subjects are discussed rather than marks okay marks bage tale kadiskolodilla subject understand maduvanta environment environment nimma college alli idya idre coaching bala because coaching institute al kalisudantado 
ಸೇಮ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಕಲಿಸುವಂಥದ್ದು ನೀವು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ನೀವು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಗೇಟ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಲಿಸಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ದೇ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕವರ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ and we generally leave the subject which is difficult for example uh, if i say uh, in mechanical engineering i will tell you one example turbo machinery is there okay turbo machinery uh, in that there is or the theory of machines in that there are velocity diagrams which are difficult we leave that okay whatever is the difficult thing we leave it or for example control system i will be generally uh, talking to ele- uh, electronics as well as uh, mechanical engineers okay so if you say control systems in control system there is a thing called a, a system uh, uh, analysis okay where you define de- uh, de- derive, derive the uh, uh, derive the gov- uh, transfer function and all those things okay generally students skip that because it's difficult to understand there is solution of differential equation they skip that what they do they go for root locus they go for uh, your uh, uh, root locus plot or bode plot or this one because that get marks for you okay so if is that attitude if you go no use but if you go in a attitude of understanding the concept no need of any teach any coaching if your teacher is good and if your subject knowledge is taught properly in your college no need of te- coaching okay but when such kind of environment because sometimes what happens i have been also in an engineering college i know in that environment where students are more oriented towards marks than knowledge getting good teaching is difficult even from a good teacher okay so in such circumstances coaching is very important without coaching it is difficult i also went to coaching i have got 388 rank in gate and to clear get coaching i have gone to hyderabad i have gone to one of the institutes there and because i went to that institute i could get 388 rank otherwise i wouldn't have got why because i had good teachers there okay that is the main reason then you may ask sir coaching institute if we go will we clear gate no guarantee because the first level is getting the concept right so when you go when go to a teacher your concept the first level is cleared okay so your base is done next your study is important that is the it is like the foundation if you are building a building foundation they will make it strong a good teacher will make the foundation strong how big the building has to be how the wall should be how should be the electrical connections all those things is your headache okay so if you don't put your efforts if you don't put your mind you can't clear okay so i see a lot of students who uh, because when i was in kendra engineering i said go to hyderabad okay so they went to hyderabad and then they come with a sorry face and say sir i have not cleared gate okay i said don't worry even if you did not clear gate because you went there and studied concept well it is going to help in your career and yes it did number of students now are thanking me for that okay they are in various places all over the world because of the gate coaching they took they today are doing well in their companies whichever companies they are there because the concept is clear because the concept is clear it will help in their career okay so gate is very very important that's why government of india for scst students in some of the colleges they give free of course coaching for example nifte okay government of india gives coaching in some of the places like uh, uh, himachal pradesh i know world bank has given loan for gate coaching so gate coaching institutes go there and give coaching to the students free of cost why that is so important and why does government put money into gate coaching because because of gate the indian economy is uh, uh, helpful it is getting helped because when the stu- uh, when the uh, human resource in india gets better economy will surely get better okay so that is why learning the concept is your national obligation okay learning good engineering is your national obligation it is not just for you that you will get salary and all that, that is there you will get salary but more than that it is to develop the nation very very important okay next more effective
I will uh, just tell you all these uh, uh, frequent tasks. Will it be useful to clear gate? I have cleared that in your uh, in the this one uh, in your uh, uh, GRFs. I said even if you just clear gate, it is useful. What material we must follow? A good teacher textbook. Then coaching institute material you can follow. I am not saying no, but when after say learn concept from a good teacher, study from standard book, make your own notes, make your formula sheets. Then go for coaching institute material. Don't say, sir, I am uh, this time I have applied for gear. Let me see what material is available. Don't go with that attitude. You will never clear gear. Okay. If you go with that attitude and take a, a coaching institute material, materials are fantastic. I am not denying. Okay. All the coaching institutes give fantastic materials. Okay. Now what happens here? Here is when you learn from that particular uh, this one, they will give you the answers. because the answer is known you think that you know you have you feel very confident but actually when you write your exam you will not clear okay why you will not clear is because you have not got the skill to solve getting the answer is not enough skill to solve because every time new questions will come in gate okay you should get a concept your concept should be clear and you should be able to solve any questions which is given on that topic okay that will not come okay so it is required that this step is followed and also when you solve the questions do not see the answers take the questions various institutes give various materials do not see the answers only see the question and then the answer keys and if you did not get the answer key if you do not get the answer after too much of this will only then see it should be only in 5 or 10% of the cases that you should see the answer uh, answer, answer solutions otherwise you should not see the solutions okay fine then is gate only for toppers this is one thing i did not say for you is gate only for toppers no i have seen a lot of students with a very low uh, percentage who have got very high rank in gate and then they have done their mtech in uh, me iac i've seen a number of people okay there is one person i don't remember his name okay he is running some coaching institute okay so he said that he, he did not have a percentage he had around 15 backlogs okay so with 15 backlogs he wrote gate he was from enc electronics okay and uh, he wrote gate and he got eighth rank 08 single digit rank in gate and he, they did it me from iac but then saw coaching uh, gate coaching helps more than any any other job so what did he do he went for gate coaching he started his own institute okay so like that so it is not just for toppers okay and nothing can we get admission to foreign university this point i missed okay see there are around four universities minimum which i know which give you admission based on gate one example is nus singapore national university of singapore nanyang technological university singapore uh third one is your um, um technical university of munich germany then rwth germany okay these four institutes give you based on gate but there are other foreign universities also if you clear gr gr is a basic thing okay after gre if you want to get selected to top universities for example say uh, one of the top 100 uh, universities of the world say which is in us based if you clear gate there is a possibility that you can get selected there okay so that is there Okay, although they don't say uh, outright. Okay, then will gate help me in campus selection? I have told that answer. How many months of preparation is needed? I will tell you three years, not months. Three years. Okay, that is for getting into PSUs. I am saying top ranks in gate. Okay, three years is required for clearing gate. Six months is enough. If you say I want to clear gate this time, sir, how much preparation? How much uh, time do I need? Six months is enough. Again, you totally concentrate on gate. Six months of uh, six months of uh, preparation is enough for clearing gate. Nothing else you have to do. Only that you can clear gate. But start your gate preparation from the second year itself. Okay. So that is thing. Okay. Any other doubts, students? Thank you very much. Any doubts? I'll answer. And this is my number. You can any time contact me. And any further doubts, you can ask. You can treat me as a faculty in your own institution. Okay, because I was a faculty in your uh, Madhva College. so if you have any doubts about career or any uh, what do you say you don't know what to do 
know, uh, regarding your career you can always contact me i'll be available to you this is my personal number i'm sharing it with you you can share this with anybody who wants uh, wants to get guidance yes thank you very much uh, thank you sir Uh, thank you. So, any questions from the students? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm from civil good department. Uh, I had to ask you, like you said, it will take three years to do the uh, gate preparations. Now I'm in final year, so I was thinking I will. Uh, as soon as I finish up my engineering, I thought of taking up a diploma in interiors. so i was thinking if i'm doing diploma in interiors along with that can i uh, take up for the gate preparation it will uh, won't it take a long time for me to complete the diploma and then do again the gate and get into mtech or any other field uh, uh, i want to correct myself i want to correct myself okay so if you are uh, say 3 years was a very uh, in the sense very long term thing if you are in the final year okay you know that in that 3 years you would have got the basics cleared is it not number of things you are when i'm saying 3 years i'm saying when you are starting from the second year okay but when you are in the final year what has happened is you are, you have that knowledge okay you have gone to the grind and you have that knowledge now if i say this i will tell you if you start preparing for gate now okay full fledged okay uh, so you are in the final year now right final year you have entered okay so 2022 okay i see if you are very serious now and that 6 months you uh, prepare well okay for 6 months after your engineering if you prepare well for the rest 6 months there is a possibility that you can even score more than around 60 marks out of 100 okay and you can get into iits psus is a far fetched thing you can get into iits it is possible okay and what is your rank uh, what is your percentage now I forgot your name. Hello. Uh, Chaitra sir. Uh, right Chaitra. now I have uh, backlogs as well, so I'm preparing for them uh, also. So, so now, since you have backlogs, this shows that uh, your subject knowledge might not be that great. Okay, but one more side I will tell you: subject knowledge being less, that I am telling you only based on your uh, percentages. Okay. or your backlogs that's what i'm basing it upon but i have seen i know one of the student civil engineering uh, he is one of my friend his name is rohan goel okay he did his uh, uh, me uh, sorry be from uh, btech from vit vellore institute of technology when he was in the final year he has he had got around 35 backlogs 3 5 backlogs okay then he thought of clearing it he spent one more year to just clear those backlogs okay and after that 6 months he wrote gate and he got 76 rank in gate and he did his uh, me from iisc okay so it is about the seriousness you are in okay if you are serious one and a half years full fledged for gate is enough okay yeah and you can do if you are saying interior design i will tell you one more point it is very important to have a proper environment because environment only propels us to do something good okay so if you are serious about gate and you don't have because i don't know what is the uh, what you say environment you are in and what is your uh, personal as well as uh, uh, professional uh, mindset i do not know that but if your mindset is to get into iit and do well in your career okay that is your goal okay if that is your goal i will tell you one and a half year to put in uh, gate preparation is not at all a bad idea okay but you have to be prepared for risks because gate has risks involved in it okay and uh, it is possible that after one year you may lose interest that's also possible okay you have to be prepared for that okay and prepare for your b plans yeah thank you sir any other questions uh, good afternoon sir i am from cs department Uh, my name is Shreya, and I have a doubt regarding the gate exam. Like as you mm. uh, mentioned about the preparation, like mm. uh, if we start from now, how many hours mm. per day can we dedicate uh, for gate? Like now, I'm in pre pre final year. If we are starting from now, Shreya, there is nothing called number of hours. Okay, it is about how serious you are. 
and how well you are preparing it is not about number of hours let me tell you i have seen people spending 10 15 hours a day okay when i was doing gate coaching in hyderabad my roommate was such that he was sitting on the table at 9 o'clock in the morning and he used to never wake up till evening 6 o'clock he, he never, never had food also in between that kind of tapas he did okay but still he could get only around 40 marks out of 100 okay and he somehow got msc seat in iit kadakpur okay not iit kadakpur iit uh, guwahati he got there okay but on my side i was preparing for around i was attending the classes continuously attending classes is very important and after attending the classes i used to prepare hardly one hour okay and i cleared gate with the 388 rank all india and i got into iit madras okay so it is i cannot say it i cannot tell this much number of hours that much number of hours cannot be said it is that you have to be serious and you have to think about the subject okay and you should see that distractions is gone what happens when we are a student level that uh, brahmacharya has to be the brahmacharya means that type of distraction i'm i'm not saying in, in the other side okay brahmacharya means you have to be one minded okay in one mindedness you have to prepare for your uh, what you are saying for whatever you are preparing okay you should not get distracted relatives um, friends too much of friends okay not required because friends uh, who are who are supporting you is a different case but sometimes what happens in the friend circle uh, you hear a lot of things okay and that brings you down okay it happened to me also okay when i was preparing for gate people used to say this person is cool man i uh, let me tell you i cleared gate in the third attempt not in the first attempt in the third attempt i cleared gate and people used to say i am a fool okay because you will not clear gate and uh, you will not stop writing gate okay that's what that's what people used to say okay so don't hear to people okay just if you feel that you are confident go on writing it okay and you will clear one day yeah. and but coaching is required okay yes any other yes sir uh, there's a there's one more doubt uh, regarding uh, for gate exam eligibility is there a criteria like uh, overall b if we get the score like cgp or marks wise is no, there a nothing, criteria nothing nothing zero criteria okay for writing gate there's zero criteria even if you you are in the final year that's enough or pre final year now this time pre final year if you are part of a pre final year uh, studies that means you should not be detained in the second year okay you have entered the third year that is enough your percentage doesn't matter okay but your percentage matters for getting admissions or getting psu jobs because there is a cut off for that percentage okay so sometimes with the low percentages uh, it is difficult to get uh, uh, mtech seats okay but iisc doesn't happen so if you want to get you have to get very high ranks iisc doesn't have any cut off you clear uh, clear your be that's enough okay so that is very important subject of your basic uh, what do you say a number is not required okay so okay. okay sir thank you thank you thank you uh, thank you thank you chaitra and shreya for asking the question any any other questions sir addition to that uh, shreya subhash chandra asked the question uh, is there any uh, cut off uh, to get into the iit institution for example like iit madras or bombay is there no. any uh, see see iit iits and iisc doesn't put any cut off okay cut off is for clearing gate that's it okay once you have cleared gate what happens depending on the number of applications okay cut off is decided it's like cet okay say so madhwa institute of technology has so much of cet cut off means what that uh, 100 people have applied okay and there were 50 seats so the top 50 people got a uh, seat in madhwa institute of technology okay so similar way in iit is also if there are more number of vacancies than the number of uh, what do you say uh, number of applicants then everybody will get a seat so there is no cut off in that sense thank you sir and one more yeah. question sir uh, as you mentioned huh? there is a consideration of gate score in the foreign universities sir is there any yes. consideration of gate in the foreign companies also foreign uh, public sector companies uh, no no see even in indian companies in the private companies there is no consideration of uh, uh, in the sense uh, there is no consideration for uh, gate no no uh, private companies ask you for gate but what happens is because you clear gate your subject knowledge is increased 
so you clear the interview and you clear the written test that's it okay sir thank you so much uh, i have heard that uh, from many people uh, anand sir is a great orator today i have witnessed it uh, thank you thank you so much for inviting your student and uh, motivating them to take up the examination seriously uh, so my small uh, you know request from all the students that especially the civil and mechanical uh, engineering because this is the two branches that have uh, you know adversely affected uh, by this uh, pandemic uh, if i'm not wrong so yes yes if you write the gate examination there are plenty of opportunities and uh, so my suggestion is that take an objective uh, set a target i hope that uh, you will achieve one so there is a difference between ordinary and extraordinary uh, only word extra is the uh, uh, word and i think that uh, sir anand sir has uh, imparted an extra thing uh, uh, in his talk and uh, as a Abdul Kalam saying that learning creates creativity, creativity provides thinking, and this thinking provides knowledge. Uh, sir, you you have mentioned that engineering knowledge, uh, if you achieve it, and that would be the great thing, and that would be uh, the monetary whatever uh, you call the uh, happiness in your life. Uh, thank you so much, sir. On behalf of entire SMUTM fraternity, I would like to extend my gratitude uh, to uh, Professor Anil Pai for delivering his wonderful speech uh, to the students and uh, motivating them. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much. And also, I thank the principal for giving us uh, giving us the opportunity to conduct this talk, and uh, head of the department, and also dear students for joining this uh, <coughs> virtually. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. I think we can wind up the sessions. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.